Hey everyone, it's Nat with our Flip the Cheap. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new to my channel, I warmly, warmly welcome you. And if you like this type of content, I really hope you uh, decide to stick around, subscribe, and hit that bell, and give me a big thumbs up. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, you guys have all been amazing. Amazing. So thank you so much. And that being said, because you're so amazing, and because we finally hit 100 subscribers, our first giveaway. I'm so excited. I love gifting to people. It makes me so happy. So I cannot wait to put that together. So if you stick around to the end of the video, I will be giving you the directions on how you can enter my first really good giveaway. All right? So, per usual, this is a Dollar Tree haul. I have a couple of things, too, that are actually from somewhere else, and I'll get into that. And I only have one item that was from the plus section. So, I'll do that one first, just to get it out of the way, so we know it's done. Everything else is above 25. So, let me do that. <laughs> Now, I just needed a good old Bluetooth speaker. I don't need anything fancy, but these do like apparently light up or whatever. It was five bucks, but I listen to music a lot, a lot. And I use Spotify on my phone and you know, your phone doesn't give you a lot of sound. So I picked this guy up. I can't believe I don't already have one. I don't know, maybe I could have found one better for the same price on Amazon, but I was at Dollar Tree, so I picked it up. I'll let you guys know how it is. Whoops, I meant to put that in a basket and it fell out. Whoops. Okay, let's get kind of the foodie kind of things out of the way, and then we'll go into the more exciting things. So, I'm trying to learn how to cook well, I'm a wonderful cook. I will admit that. Like, that is a skill I've got that I'm very proud of. But I never really cooked, like, anything Mexican, Spanish. Um, I always kind of, my wheelhouse is Tuscan food. Like, I don't need a gosh darn recipe. I can, ho, 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 I can smash that. I'm a good cook. <laughs> so anyway, I also want more protein in my diet that's not just meats. So I bought some black beans and then I also got these pinto beans. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the pintos yet, but I will figure it out. I will find a recipe. I really enjoy the challenge of seeing what is in my pantry and freezer. And we don't have an extra freezer and fridge and all that, which I wish we did. But, um, you know, taking what I've got and creating something new, it's fun to me. I, I love it. You know, it's a great way to save money, guys. Great way. Um, boring old trash bags, but the trash can, this one room is teeny tiny, so I need those little ones. And I'm so far behind on gifting a basket I made for my neighbor, but I'm so glad I found this to go in it because I got one of those really large mugs. It's made for soup. So I had gotten one of those hot chocolate ball things, you know, it's like a bath bomb, but you drink it. <laughs> but I thought, some soup would be really cute. When I make homemade soup, I take it over to him. But, you know, because he's recently widowed and pretty alone. And his daughter, <clears throat> she's a little older than me, was kind enough when she found out it was sick to give me, like, these really comfortable PJs and a book about God and all that. And it was just so kind and thoughtful. So I always try to give back. 
you know. Um, okay, so I'm loving these little true linen packets. There are only three ingredients. Citric acid, which is an all-natural product. It's usually used to stabilize things like jellies, jams, pickles, things like that. Uh, lemon oil and lemon juice. That's it. So there's no sodium, which is great for me. No sugar, which is great for me. Because I can't have either much of either one. Because I'm diabetic. And when you have liver disease and have ascites with it, you can't have much sodium. Like my, my allowed intake for sodium is like nothing. And I totally cheat all the time with that. I'm a salt lover. And see, I'm terrible. So I'm be eating sugar, but these are so good. These sour warhead laffy taffies. I love these. I don't know what it is, but I'll just have one to kind of curb that craving, you know what I mean? And then I stop. I put them away. <laughs> like, bye bye. And then these I haven't seen in a while. It's the Pop Daddy pretzels. And I got the flavor of garlic parmesan. I thought these would be really good. I love dipping these in garlic hummus. <laughs> really good. Or you can take regular pretzels, guys, and dip them in that, or like a dill dip, or a lemon, not lemon, lemon? No, onion dip. <laughs> <laughs> I love gifts, I will admit it. Goldfish, flavor blast, love these. They're delicious. Cheez-Its, can you see that I like anything cheese flavored with salt? I mean, they're small bags, but I don't, I mean, that will last me more than one sitting. And then I love the skinny pop in the butter flavor. Love it. The white cheddar is pretty good too. And then they have another one that's not like really flavored, but exactly, there's like no flavor. So I don't really get the butter. Sometimes the, the white cheddar. And then, you know, I already have the holes in cherry and the new Caesar haul guys that um, are sugar free, which I use most of the time. But I really love these when I have a cough. They honestly do suppress it quite a bit, but they don't have that menthol flavor because I really don't care for that at all. I think it's. <laughs> I don't like. I, I, I'm just not a minty, menthol-y kind of gal, and it kind of just grosses me out. So, yeah. Alright, that's it for the boomerang crap. <laughs> but I thought I would show you what's there. I mean, the fact that you can get a big can of whey beans, these are great to stock up on. All they have several different kinds. They have the red beans, the black beans, the pinto beans, and I think they had one other kind. That were jarred and they have a lot in bags as well but when i learned how much work goes into making them i'm like oh i'm going with these <laughs> so you know you never know what could happen like snowstorms you lose power or whatever it's great to have a couple jars of things like that and some rice and i've really been enjoying learning how to make that kind of food okay real quick First, let me show you the two things I got at Walgreens because they were a deep discount. <clears throat> um, excuse me, sorry. I got this loofah, which is an all-natural fiber. Let me see, it's by the Me brand, Exfoliate Bath Poof. Or Puff. Modern Expressions Loofah. This exfoliating loofah is great your shower or bath, convenient hanging loop helps the loop to dry after use. I mean, so it doesn't tell you anything, but what is it made out of? It doesn't tell me, but 
it's like all natural fiber, you can tell. So I can actually wash this. If I do like, you know, the delicate cycle in my washer, because loofahs, you can't use them for long. They get all that dead, trapped skin cells in it. And then, ooh, uh, that grosses me out to no end. So I like almost never use a loofah. And if I do, I throw it away pretty quickly. So I thought this would be great because I can wash it, reuse it. This will last me for a long time. Not forever, but probably a good several months. Probably like six months, something like that, if I can wash it. Great. And then the other thing I got is the e.l.f. I love e.l.f. I really do. They really step up their game this year. Their Kabuki brush for an airbrush. I have so many makeup brushes, guys. It's scary. But I don't have a Kabuki. And this was on sale, I believe, because it was originally, it was over 10. And I got it for like two seventy nine, dollars something like that. Same thing with that Lupa, because it was a Christmas item. So I got it for under a dollar. Can't beat that. <clears throat> okay. I got some makeup bags, because I love them. They have several of these. They have ones that have this white outline. They have ones with red and they have ones with black. And I like them all, but I just, I don't know. I, I picked this one because I like that it has the little side pockets here. So even if like you just need to take a few things to work, cause some jobs like you have to have a clear bag when you go in and out of work. These are, you know, to make sure you're not stealing, I suppose. You know, and it's a pretty good size. So this way I can see what I have in here, which I really like. It would be good for my meds. It would be good for my makeup, makeup brushes, any of that. And then the other one, which is just too darn, darn cute not to pick up. This like little clear stripey one with a little poof on the side. It's smaller, but it's still a pretty good size for on the go, to travel. You won't really be able to fit brushes in here, I don't think, depending on how big or long your brushes are. But like a kabuki brush, you can fit in here, right? And you can put any type of brushes in here because if they're coming out a little bit, not the end of the world. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I have a frog in my throat <clears> that will not go away. So my typical protein shake and water. <laughs> Ooh, let me show you this item. This is the one I am most excited about. I mean, let me hear it because I, I'm taking a while here. I'm talking too much. You may have already seen me call the Jean-Pierre body scrub. Um, I think it, yeah, cactus water body scrub and cactus water uh, face mask. Well, I found the cactus water face mist by Jean-Pierre. I cannot wait to try this. I love a good face mist. Like, if I don't have time for like, a, like lots of extra hydration, but I need it if I'm just like running out the door or I'm gonna keep something in my bag because my skin gets so dry this time of year. I can do that, a quick couple of spritz and I get some added moisture and I'm good to go. I'm really excited to try this and I will let you know how I get along with it. Then, another face care product. I just got one more. I have so many face masks. It's not funny. But I really do haul them from Dollar Tree. And honestly, guys, the Miss Spa brand is way better than pretty much all the other brands I have found at Dollar Tree when I look at the ingredients. That's a big must. 
they actually have things I can pronounce, number one. And I do know a lot about this stuff because it's something I researched for years. So I got the watermelon to go with my other watermelon y skincare products that I pulled from Dollar Tree that I'm still testing out and I'm going to be doing a review video on very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. I got yet another spa headband. I already got two at the same time, but they finally had the black one. And I really like that. Because the white, like if you're doing your makeup, it's going to get all over and like make it dingy and dirty looking. And we might do that with the black. I don't know, but I just feel like if I give this a quick wash, it'll clean up better. And I know I said I really don't like loofahs. I love the shade of pink, and I like that it has this handle. This makes it a little easier to get all over. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, and I blocked this before I went into Walgreens and found the other one. So now I've got two. Not the end of the world, right? I really try to not have too many things I don't need or use a lot of, but. I knew those handle loofahs would not last long, so I grabbed one. Uh, okay, boring, but these little cotton rounds, they're all cotton, they work great. I normally use the makeup removing, I have several makeup removing um, towels and wipes from Dollar Tree, which I prefer, but I wash them after each use, so sometimes they're all in the washer and I need something to put my micellar water on or toner or whatever. So these are good to have, just on hand, you know, and for other, other things. Oh, I was excited to find this. They finally had it at my Dollar Tree. And I remember seeing people haul these little travel first aid kits, but this one, it's a 21 count. What does it have? Um, does it tell me? There's gauze. It doesn't really tell me, but it looks like there are three nail files. A couple of these band-aids. Or maybe these are band-aids. I don't know. <laughs> That's probably what they are, right? Duh. Duh, Meg. And some surgical tape. This is great and handy to have. Especially for somebody like me. Just trust me. They had different colors of these and all that, but I really liked the blue and teal and white. So I picked it up, throw it in my car, and that way I've got it if I need it while I'm on the go. Okay. Um, what do I want to show next? What do I want to show? Ooh, ooh. This one I think you guys are going to love. It's B by BC BG Generation Cream Multi Stick. I love anything multi. You're making my life easier. Thank you. I went to two Dollar Trees yesterday, and the only shade I found on both was Honey Glaze. So we're going to open this up and see what the color looks like. If I can. Oh my gosh, it's all sealed up. Hmm. I normally have scissors around here. I'm not seeing them. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Hold on. What are your wish list items right now at Dollar Tree? I'd love to hear below. I'm completely destroying this box, but it's okay because it's for me. <laughs> okay, got it. I still have some things I'm trying to look for that are apparently everywhere else but where I live. It's like they stop at New Jersey. And I'm only 10 minutes away from all the bridges to get in a, in a Philly. And it's like, just call 10 minutes down, please, please. <sighs> but I'm not paying the bridge toll, man, to go save five bucks because then I'm spending it. $5 bridge stole. Okay. So, 
Here's the packaging. It's very sleek. I really like it. Oh, well, that's really light. But it's very pretty. All right, let's swatch it. Let's give it a good swatchy swatch. Huh. All right, this looks like a highlighter to me. I'm trying to get it where you guys would be able to see it. I can see it, but I know on camera it's hard. Do you see that? A peachy. Ooh, that's beautiful for a highlight. Let's give it a go. I love me some highlights. Ooh, <laughs> and I very lightly touch that to my skin, just like very lightly. Oh, wow. All right, let's do the other side. Although I'm wearing pink everything right now. So this peachy color probably is not the best idea, but um, I don't care. We're just having fun here, right? Let's just have fun. And that's cute. What do you think? You guys like it? I think it's nice. But I'm really hoping I can find some other colors because I would not put this on my lips. It's just way, way, way too light. Even though I'm very pale, my natural lip color, like as you age, it does get darker. And that's happening to me. So what happens when you get older? Okay, uh, real quick. I found the satin pillowcases and bonnet, which I have. I bought two of the pillowcases actually. So I already had a black satin one, and I wanted it to match. So I got two. Well, we finally have the headband. So I grabbed that, because that way when I'm holding my hair back, because I do get those little baby hair flyaways very easily. My hair is naturally curly. So I grabbed that to kind of help keep it tamed. They finally had, they only had this one scent. They had one of the Olika hand sanitizers. I was so happy to find it. And the girl told me, they just put them out that day. And this one is Orange Blossom. Now, I did find one more, and I'm not kidding. It was one, like, shoved in the back with, like, all the makeup. It was weird because the makeup section on this Dollar Tree up the road for me is always a mess. And I found one in Clarity. But it must have fallen out in my car or something. And I, I got to find it because I know I bought it. I know I bought it. So, got the orange blossom and I do have the clarity somewhere. It's somewhere. Somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> Way up high. Okay, more hand sanitizer because I am that girl that still wears a face mask in public, especially with all of the diseases going around right now. Like, you gotta be smart, guys. Like, just be that weirdo wearing one. Who cares? I don't care. So, and I use hand sanitizer like it's going out of style. And I saw a lot of people calling these Be Pure ones for a while. And they finally came in my store. So one is in eucalyptus. And the other is shea butter. I'm probably not going to love the eucalyptus. That's a very strong, pungent smell to me just for me but i love shea butter scented anything I, I just love shea butter so this will probably be a gift this will be for me oh look what finally came into my store guys i mean everybody hauled these forever and of course they were out of the one that i really wanted and i go to this dollar tree every other day Good God. But they finally had the Malibu grits. <laughs> finally had these palettes. 
They never added that more neutral looking one. So I got number eight. I love these first three colors. I would probably use them for something. Um, I love a good red eye. I don't know what it is. Then I got number seven. These are pretty bold, pretty bold, but pretty, you know, for $1.25, whatever. I'll give them a go. Number six. Now, this one, <clears throat> this will probably be going in on one of my subscriber giveaway packages, most likely. Or one of the others. I'm not sure which one yet. I'll decide. And then number five, which isn't bad, it, it has some neutrals in it. So over here, you can see they're a bit more neutral. And then they go into the bolder colors over here. But yeah, like I said, one of these I will put into one of the many giveaways I will be doing because I'm just going to keep going with them. I love gifting to people. Love it. All right, now here's one I have not seen anybody show. It's by Make Me Up. It is a plumping lip gloss with jojoba seed oil infused with almond oil and jojoba oil. I thought that would be nice and nourishing for the lips. Because believe it or not, jojoba oil mimics skin's natural sebum. So it absorbs in your skin, lips, whatever better than any other oil, like better than vitamin E, all that. It's really good stuff. So I figured I put it over a matte lipstick because I don't like all matte. I could do that or underneath before I put on my lipstick. Give it a try. So I'm really excited for that. And then they had a, several things like this in the line, but this is a volumizing mascara. Now I have so much mascara. Right now I'm actually wearing one from Dollar Tree. It's very muted, but I like it a lot because it doesn't irritate my eyes. So I'm hoping maybe this one will be the same. We'll find out. I have a lot of high-end mascara, so I really only travel with my cheaper ones. I don't have the highest hopes in the world for this, but I'm still gonna give it a go. And then, okay, so they got a shipment in, in the second Dollar Tree I went to, the one that's up the road from me. And they had them all in one of those dolly carts, you know? There was one box open, so I just took a little peek. And they had these Color Story Lip Dew glosses, lip oils, I'm sorry. And I thought those colors were so pretty for Valentine's Day, right? Aren't they pretty? I'm really excited. I'm gonna try them. Then, ooh, I'm almost done, almost done. I caped and got the Bolero Body Butter in Watermelon and Mint. Because I have all the body scrubs. But I didn't have this or it's the coconut milk and whatever one in the body butter, but I couldn't find the coconut one, so they had this, I grabbed it. I figure I'll give it a go. Then, second to last, second to last, this was just too darn cute to pass up. I needed it. My heart hurts for it. <laughs> I needed this, guys. I mean, I always have to put a little concealer, excuse me, under my eyes. And I already have a couple little mini sponges, but these are in a pretty heart. It's different, okay? I'm really trying hard to stop spending money on this kind of crap, but, you know, if it makes me that happy, Do it, just do it. For a dollar twenty-five, just do it. And then I started putting my artificial nails back on after giving my nails a break for close to a month. What do you think of these guys? 
Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. I got these for the spring. Because I love a good French tip. And they have the little butterflies. Isn't that beautiful? And they're on blue. Which is my favorite color. So I got two packs because it's only a 12 pack. Okay. Alright. I think I'm done. Am I done? Am I done? I'm done. We got through it. Okay. Now. For the exciting part. How do you enter to get in? to my very first giveaway subscriber appreciation. Number one, you have to be subscribed to my channel. Okay, that's a must. Two, you have to like this video. And three, comment below with an item from Dollar Tree you are on the hunt for and you're hoping to find. And then hashtag on fleek for cheap okay so subscribe like and comment with what you're in on the hunt for and hashtag on fleek for cheap that's it that's all you gotta do that's all you gotta do and i will be announcing the winner very very soon but I'm just going to keep doing giveaways each extra hundred subscribers we get. So, if you don't win this one, if you subscribe, you might win the next one or the next one, right? So, just keep trying, guys, alright? Thank you so much for being here. This was a really fun haul. And I have one more box to show you that I'm going to do right now. I'll put it in another video. Thank you so much for being here. Blessings.